got my hot pot meat. Um, this you typically can't find in Western supermarkets, but it's in basically every single Chinese, Korean, or Japanese supermarket. Japanese supermarkets might be more expensive, but the quality is typically better. Some tripe greens, some tomatoes, two types of tofu. One is the regular tofu, the other is frozen tofu. Making frozen tofu is really simple. Put it in a freezer, it's frozen tofu, and the texture is dramatically different. Add some kojak jelly, cucumbers, some tofu skin, best potatoes you'll ever eat in your life comes out of a hot pot. I got some ramen, couple of eggs, trumpet mushrooms, and I have the famous gnocchi mushroom, which are the best for hot pot. So these are the ingredients I'm dipping into my broth. Now, the thing with hot pot is, it doesn't have to be this. There's no like set hot pot ingredients. There are some foods that taste really good in hot pot. Almost any type of food can be put into a hot pot. Well, except for ice cream. Even then, I had ice cream in hot pot once. So don't limit yourself to what I'm showing you. But what I have here are some of the more typical hot pot ingredients. So if you can find it, great. If not, use whatever's in your fridge. Hot pot is basically the great level upper. Whatever you put in there, it's gonna get super saiyanized. And this is our broth ingredients, by the way. I've got about a dozen or so dried chilies. You can use more or less, depending on how much you like spice. I got four star anise, tablespoon of dry goji berries, about 10 dried plums, six slices of ginger, six, seven cloves of garlic, one cinnamon stick, about six bay leaves, and a tablespoon of peppercorn. Scallions as well will go in there. And the broth, it's gonna be really simple. We don't need to overcomplicate it. Chicken broth. To me, it's all about the ingredients and the dipping sauce. The broth, I've been to many hot pots where the broths are horrible. So even if you just have chicken broth, that's okay to use for hot pot broth. But if you want to make it really amazing, use everything I'm showing you here. And of course, we need the dipping sauce. That to me is the most important flavor aspect of hot pot. For that, I have Chinese barbecue sauce, which I love. Sesame paste, which I think is pretty vital. Soy sauce, black Chinese vinegar, sesame oil, and of course, hot oil. Now, this of course, the sesame paste, it's also something that you can probably only find in Asian supermarkets. What you can do, put a little peanut butter in your dipping sauce. Now let's get to the pot. Rice cooker. Ain't just for steaming rice. All right, I'm gonna make my dipping sauce and then let's cook the broth. So before my chicken broth goes in, I'm gonna just, just stir fry some of these ingredients inside my rice cooker. Don't forget, your rice cooker can work as a skillet as well. And you don't have to do this with the rice cooker because it is gonna be a, a tad inconvenient. But for me, it's a little less trouble just to use one cooker. A little cooking oil goes in. When the oil heats up, <coughs> toss in a few slices of ginger. After cooking that for a couple minutes, toss in your garlic, and then your bay leaves, chilies, star anise, cinnamon stick, and the peppercorn. Cook that for just another minute or two. When all the fragrance releases, add your chicken broth. Saying your scallions, dates, and jujube, and wait for that to boil. Oh, that smells great! I'm gonna try. Oh, get some ribeye. Done and done. Less than ten seconds. Oh. Oh, that is good. <laughs> One sip, making me all feel warm and tingly inside. Oh. Oh, that meat is tender. Don't cook it for too long. Oh, and it will be amazing. I can already tell this is gonna be good. Melts in your mouth. Broth is fantastic. Really hearty flavor soaked into the meat. Dipping sauce is amazing. Also, if you want to make this even better, throw your tomatoes inside. The tomato is gonna to make the broth amazing. 
Also, what we want to do is toss in all the ingredients that's going to take a while to cook, like these potatoes. Just going to toss these in. Mushrooms go in. I'm a dunker. Some people, this might give you like a complex, but certain things, longer they're in the hot pot, the tastier they are. Frozen tofu is definitely one of them. Regular tofu as well. Toss some of that in. My imitation, imitation meat. A little cucumber, tofu skin. Heck yeah, baby. Oh, I think my hot pot's ready. Mm. Oh, I love tofu skin. Oh, this little jelly thing is so incredible. Super nice, crunchy texture. Again, zero calories. This is like the ultimate delicious diet food. Mmm. Imitation, imitation meat is good. Seriously, even if you hate spam, try eating it in a hot pot. There's just something different about it. Ooh, cucumber is so refreshing. Guys, this is remarkable how good this is. Mm. Mm. Mm, no key mushrooms. I dare you to find a better veggie ingredient for a hot pot. I don't think it exists. I think the potato is done. Oh yeah, baby. Heck yes. Oh. You have got to try. Oh, one thing I, 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 I want to add in here. These are so good. Grab some of these and put them in the hot pot. Oh, by the way, you got to rescue the potatoes because they're in the bottom and they're melting. So if you don't rescue them and eat them, they're going to disintegrate. You're going to miss out on all the yumminess. So right now it's Operation Potato Rescue. Dumplings are ready too. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, you see all the juice dripping out of this? That's from the dumpling and also from the hot pot. Mm. And before you finish your hot pot meal, and I'm nowhere near done, but I want to do this right now. You got to do some hot pot noodle soup. Put your noodles in. You can use ramen, you can use vermicelli, you can use whatever you want. Hot pot noodle soup is the best noodle soup. Oh, I forgot about the bacon. This you got to make sure it's totally cooked. Chicken broth beef noodle soup. Oh, by the way, when you're running low on broth, add some more in. Add some hot oil. Mmm. Now, I wish I could share some of this with you guys. Oh my God, that broth. After everything that's been stewing in there, plus the original ingredients, the only thing that can make these noodles even better, poached an egg. If you've been at home for such a long time, you're dying to get out, but at that, at least for a few seconds, will 100% transport you right to the gate of food heaven. Mm. Not many things in the food world is as good as that. If you use my recipe, cook up a hot pot, at the end after boiling all these ingredients in there, put some noodle in, and trust me, any noodle craving will be satisfied.
Just remarkable. Mm. All right, I'm gonna need some privacy and finish up, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Again, you don't need to use the same ingredients I did to make the hot pot. If you have all the different broth ingredients, that's great. If not, use some chicken stock. Just get your hot pot on, you know? And if you did give this a try, let me know how you liked it down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we cook again, see you later.